Hello everyone. My name is Sister Sarah Simmons and welcome to our fourth week Advent Reflection. We are now on the cusp of Christmas and I know for many of us this time of year is filled with many things. Christmas gatherings, decorating the tree, buying last minute gifts for loved ones, um, and maybe traveling to celebrate with those that we love. For my family, we have another tradition. Um, a Chris, as Christmas approaches, we begin to hear the stirrings of the traditional and rather controversial topic, my grandmother's Christmas dessert. Lines are drawn in the sand within my family with only one or two who absolutely adore this dessert that my grandmother made every single year. And the vast majority of us um, cannot stand it. The interesting thing is that every year since I can remember, the two poor souls that actually enjoy this dessert are joyful that their time has finally come. And the rest of us, me included, wonder why my grandmother always makes it every single year. The traditional text message chain about the dessert started about three weeks ago with my family, and I started to wonder about it. Why was it so important for my grandmother, who was an amazing cook, to make sure that it was on our dinner table on Christmas Day? Where did it all begin? We can ask these same questions about why we do anything that we do. Why we decorate a tree, attend mass, sing carols, light the advent wreath. These are all traditional and sacred rituals that remind us of who we are and to whom we belong. Megan McKenna talks of these rituals as a process of remembering which is much more than just bringing something to mind. It is a process of putting back together again to make what was in the past present here and now. When we enter into these traditions of faith and family, we make present a legacy of love that we are inheriting. Where does this legacy of love originate? The readings today help me to see more clearly the love that we are inheriting. In the gospel, we hear a story that we have heard many times before. Joseph and Mary are giving themselves over to God in trust and in love. They are willing and active participants in God's longing and love for us. It was not enough for God to have created us. God needed, wanted to be enfleshed in Jesus and in every single one of us. Imagine the radical and untamable love that God has for us that created the desire to be with us so intimately and so fully. So as we all prepare ourselves for the Christmas celebrations in a few days, I invite you to look a little closer at the rituals that you enter into as you prepare. How are you remembering, making present, this legacy of love that dates back to the birth of Christ and before? How can you create space in this busy time to bring present the love God has for each one of us? My grandmother went home to God six years ago now. And I thought that her Christmas dessert would leave us along with her. However, every year it shows up on our table, being made by someone in the family, and the joy of our loving and controversial conversation continues on. As I read the text messages from my family as they aired their grievances over the dessert, I felt my grandmother's presence and her mother's and her mother's, gifting us with the legacy of love that is offered to us by our God that desires us more than we could ever imagine. Thank you all so much for joining us and have a very 
Merry Christmas.